Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Game Bro Studios and welcome to this episode where we are doing a let's play on the DLC that came out for Resident Evil Village and that is the Shadow of Rose. Man, this has been so cool to play and uh, I'd just like to say hopefully enjoy this and if you haven't played it already, spoilers are ahead, um, but if you have played this and uh, if you, want to, you know a bit more about it, give me some help. <laughs> I will appreciate it. This has been a great experience playing this, and um, hopefully you enjoy it. Let's get into the intro, and let's get frightened. Gonna kick some rock, or kick some rock all night. finally got hold of so uh, let's try and play some shadows of rose whilst we can um, yeah let's hope for the best we do very well and uh, let's see what we can get out of this I'm gonna play on casual just because you know for fun because what I like to do is go through each difficulty setting just you know to get a good feel of the game I know standard would be good but you know, take it easy and uh, show you some great gameplay footage and then we'll, you know, we'll progress through the uh, difficulty levels in duration to get more out of this, you know, bloody DLC that you have to pay for. Let's start. Okay, sorry I'm late. It's okay, I'm just enjoying the day. You said you had something important to tell me? I hope it's not about Chris wanting me to join his operation because I already told him that's not happening. I see what he puts you and the rest of his hound wolf squad through. <laughs> no, thank you. It's not about that. It is about you. Me? I, I worry about you. How is, um, how are things at school? <laughs> Seriously, that's what you wanted to talk to me about? That group of mean girls still hassling you? You mean, are they still treating me like a freak? Hey! Uh-uh. Look at me. You are not a freak. I am. You know I am. That's why I keep my distance from everybody at school. If they knew what I really was... So, you don't have any friends that you can talk to? <laughs> talk to? About what? How I'm hardly even human? How I'm some kind of horrendous monster? <laughs> but, hey, it's okay. I hardly ever murder my friends. What if there were a way to get rid of your powers? I get rid of them in a heartbeat. All right, well, I think there's something I need to show you. You already know about Miranda and the mutamycete, how she researched it obsessively and performed experiments on human subjects. Like me. Exactly. Uh, what you don't know is that we recently found some of her research. Apparently, she discovered a purifying crystal that can remove the mutamycete from its host. Purifying crystal? If we can get our hands on one of these, we might be able to weaken or remove your powers entirely. Are you kidding me? No, no, but her notes are incomplete. However, I think I have an idea where we can find the rest of her research. Then let's do it, let's find it. Where is it? Uh, in there. What? That's a fragment of the Megamycete. It absorbs and stores memories from people who pass away in close proximity, including Miranda and everything she knows. If you enter its consciousness, you might be able to solve the mystery of the purifying crystal. Wait, what do you mean enter its consciousness? Oh, okay, so you, 
your deep connection will allow you to explore the information within. That sounds crazy. You sound crazy. Yes, 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 Rose, but not dangerous, right? Think of it just like walking through somebody else's memories. You really think this can work? I think it's worth trying. What do you have to lose? How do I even do this? <laughs> Shit, I, I don't know. Try reaching out to it. See what happens. Okay. Fine. What the hell? Read at your own leisure. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a like, nice little look round before we decide to adventure off, just in case there's anything we might need to look at. Okay, let's continue. I love the smoke effects. It's really eerie, it's like Silent Hill. Ooh. Blood on the floor. What's over here? Okay, we can either go up there or go in here. So I'll look in here. I'll be in there. Oh, apparently I need some crystal. Wow. Okay. I don't recognise this bit, so this must be newly added. More blood. Nothing. Map. Okay. What in the hell is that? Wow, okay, it's a lot of blood. What in the hell is that? It's a shoe. Nice, what are we looking at? <laughs> There's nothing in the shoe. This is shoe. What's it with Resident Evil's 7 and 8? Having shoes, there's nothing specifically on the shoe. That's this on the floor is weird. Look at all this horror. What is this? Dead mega my seats? I don't know. I love the way the light, if you stop the line where the light goes. Ooh, I'm loving the jump scares. Is 
Nice to meet you, Danger. I'm Rest Dan. Okay. Interesting. Just so I was trying to point seven out. Oh, <laughs> nice jump scare to start with. But anyway. Wow. Details of cobwebs. That would look creepy. I love the creepy aspect of this. It's like, wow. It's like moving on its own. Weird. I love creepy stuff like this. Wait. Is this rose? Oh ha ha! <laughs> the jump says that don't work. Oh look, some broken sword rubbish with random lettering. Why is it that you got the, the, the good jump scares that might get you, and then you have the ones that do get you, but don't? You know what I mean? I bet people will jump to that. Well, some. I was just more interested in the, the uh, you know, my name being there. It's great art to simply do. Yay. Okay. And I bet every hour is doing all speed runs and everything on this, but I'm not going to do a speed run for the first video. No, I don't know what I'm doing. <gasps> I found a key. I like the trainers, like high tops. What the fuck? Don't know, but not allowed to know. Creepy, whatever it is. Don't worry about it, it's just something insane. It's gonna pop out up behind this door. somewhere that's you know where I've just come from all oh, right I see there's a dead body there you want me to help you I thought as much Pretty obvious. Hey, hey, where are you going? 
Where do you think? She did say that she was, uh, you know, I don't know, I wasn't listening, but it's supposed to be doing something to leave. Now this bit I do remember. Um, ah, uh, I'm creeped out. No. Okay, it's back the way we came, we don't want to go that way. But I gather it's this way somewhere. I just don't get why she doesn't run that good. Of course, it wouldn't be Silent Hill Resident Evil if it wasn't uh, locked from the inside. Oh my god, a lot of failed experiments, I guess. Ah! Now that was a jump scare. That didn't really work that well. No, not quite. This is why that was there. Oh, it's um, Harry Potter ripoff now. Uh, Dementors. Superpowers in Resident Evil. See you later. <laughs> this is what nightmares are made of. Demetrius place. Ah. Okay, this way. Hmm, interesting. Wow, now we're in Lady D's 
place that your father went through. And it still looks the same. Somehow. Well, that makes sense. Monsters? Don't know, don't ask. A place that you were taken to as a kid. Sounds about right. Who are you? My guardian angel? Yeah, that makes sense. You're an angel then. Gabriel Michael. Michael's the devil, so probably not. Oh, okay. Okay, makes sense. Oh, can we save? Cool. Well, <laughs> um, that's the first episode out of the way. We're going to record the second episode straight after. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, share to your friends on social media, and we'll catch you in the game, Bruce, to your fans in the next one. Dismissed.